I like the red part. Yeah. Uh, if I you can brighten this see. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. nice. By the way, I'm going to show you prints of photos I took that day. I'm also going to do a giveaway of one of these prints. So stick around until the end. Hi everyone, Sam here. Welcome back to another potato vlog. And I'm here at Osaka station in Umeda. Um, I'm meeting a friend, a friend of my brother, who also participated in uh, one of my workshops. And yeah, we will just do some street shooting around Osaka station. And this is actually my fourth or fifth day of doing street photography. So yeah, enjoy the vlog. See you later. Yo, how's it going? Good, good, good. It's good. Wie geht es Ihnen? Domo, domo. Impression, first impression. Umezukashi. <laughs> it's fun. Iyo yeah, to. It's satisfying. <laughs> Next promo. <laughs> when I went to Morocco and I brought this camera Expert 2 and I had dust in my sensor like inside of the sensor so I wanted to get rid of it so I went to a uh, like small electric shop in Morocco mm. so I went to this small shop and then asked the guy if he could help me mm. to get rid of the dust and then yeah. he said yes yeah. so I handed my camera to him and he started like Nandir blowing with do, do it how he did it so he opened Not really, but my yeah lens and then <laughs> that's what he did <laughs> I was like no that's not how you do it I, I don't know how to do it, but it's obviously not the way to do it, right? <laughs> uh, he started take like he started like cleaning with his like brush in my sensor, and I was like, no, 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 please, man, like I can't do this. And then, <laughs> and then uh, we fought for two hours. Like yeah. I was like, what are you gonna do? Like you pretty much broke my camera. Mm -hmm. um, so he and then he was like, you no. made a scratch on your sensor. Yeah, he made a scratch in my sensor. So I told him to pay me, but he was like, no, I didn't do this. I didn't do this. Oh. I was like, you did this. I saw you did it, but I didn't have proof. You know. Oh, no. Like even if you go to police station, like uh. they wouldn't do anything for you. In oh. So I was like. Shanai. <laughs> oh, so okay. that's my story. But you got your sensor repaired? Yep, last year in and Japan. Fujifilm, arigatou gozaimasu. <laughs> is this your favorite place? Uh-huh. This is the only place where I can smoke cigarettes in Osaka. Yeah? Hi. What's the name of the coffee shop? I actually don't know. <laughs> You look so uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> you look so blue here. Yeah, yeah this so one is warm. too warm. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I like Expro too. <laughs> <laughs> More. <laughs> So you, you said you don't do a lot of street photography anymore? Uh, yeah, recently I don't do much street photography, uh, much street photography anymore. Yeah. But why? But why? <laughs> but why? I know you want to ask me why. Yeah. Uh, I'm just like not really interested in street photography anymore. Oh, oh. For now, maybe I will back one day. Oh, oh. But for now, I shoot more. I don't know, like landscapes. <laughs> uh, no, not, not, not landscapes, like buildings oh. and just like beautiful lighting and shadow oh. and interesting, yeah, uh, subject, but not people. 
because of Corona or something Not else? Really? No. Yeah. It's just boring. Just boring. <laughs> Do you think Japan uh, street life in Japan is also a little bit boring because you went to Germany and Europe? Yeah, like people say, you know, Japanese people don't express their, you know, emotions and yeah. feelings. So there's not much uh, attraction, no, attraction, no, action, action, action yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, between people and people. Yeah. I saw you also take some portraits. Portraits? On your Instagram, no? Ah, uh, yeah, with my film camera, mm -hmm, Contax yeah. uh, T3. I try to bring that camera pretty much everywhere and then if I find interesting people I try to approach them and yeah get their portrait mm. uh, but not with digital oh. yeah because I don't really know how to edit it like skin color like skin tone mm -hmm. things like that with digital files uh, yeah. and with film it's easier. <laughs> yeah, I don't yeah. really have to, you know, edit. It always looks good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I also have to uh, say that uh, I don't really go out to take street photos. I don't go out just to take street photos. Uh, so, uh, in yeah, Japan, I, I try to bring my camera. Yeah, yeah. Pretty much every time. I like doing stuff it's like not, this. Like I'm not necessarily like want to capture it candid moment yeah. or anything because it's so rare in japan to see something interesting yeah, yeah, yeah. i just have camera around do my shopping and yeah, then yeah, yeah exactly see something and then yeah, just capture photo. my daily life yeah that's what i do now mm -hmm. yeah not necessarily street photography yes yeah all right so that's Yeah. Which one do you recommend me to get? Yeah, for for your for color. trip? Yeah. For color? Why you don't like you try it? this? Yashika. <laughs> no, I, I saw this yesterday with my friend. What is this? And it looks uh, very like, uh, nostalgic. <laughs> Golden 80s. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know how it looks. <laughs> um, eh, but does you have a cine still? Yeah, what? but it's so expensive, I know. Wow, it's unbelievable. They still have a lot of... Uh, Pro, yeah. You know, this film is... They stopped uh, making it. Yeah, right. it's continued. They I, still I have never, a lot. I never used this. Is it good? Yeah, my friend Alex really likes it. Yeah, you should get this. Alex on the street. Yeah. Uh, konnichiwa, Alex on the street, son. It's <laughs> <laughs> gonna... So how much did you pay for you? Uh, four, 400 euro. Good day, right? <laughs> I got it back in 2018. Mm. Got 17. Yeah, just pay 400 euro. I was like, hey, really? Do you <laughs> want to give your friend a message? Uh, <laughs> 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 Welcome to Yorobashi Camera every day. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Yorobashi Camera every day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> so I need a new camera strap for my camera because I'm using the Fuji one. <laughs> this is uh, this is what we find. Yeah, I think I, I should use this. Yeah. Oh look, they have the official Bruce Gilden uh, jacket. <laughs> but I think this is uh, is useful. It is. <laughs> mm. yeah. This kind of clothes for us quite trendy back in 2019 or 2020 the show yeah yeah a lot of younger generation people mm. wore this vest it's so kawaii. <laughs> kawaii. this is for taping up the leica logo on the cameras uh, you know? like you do yeah. okay well, i bought this is cheap uh, convenience store <laughs> tape <laughs> Teleporto XF two hundred mil. Two hundred? F two. Whoa. Whoa, look at the price. 
cheap. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have the XE4 here and um, I've been using the 15 to 45 mm -hmm. as my uh, vlogging lens with my XT4 and I think this is the best compact vlogging setup because this lens can close uh, focus so close like look at the screen see it's in focus my eyes in focus close. yeah yeah and I'm I'm this close yeah and then see this is one arm um, distance and the autofocus is so fast, like I never use many focus. Mm -hmm. It's really fast. Nice. I want the black version. Mm. <laughs> Fujifilm! Fujifilm! Let's send it switch to me. up. <laughs> Give me the black version. <laughs> the shutter sound is so quiet. You barely hear the sound. Mm. Mm. Yeah, Shizuka GFX 100S. Buy me this one, Dareka. Someone, <laughs> please. Okay, we didn't buy anything, so. No, we stayed for like an hour. <laughs> yeah. but ended up buying nothing. <laughs> and now the light is very nice, so we're going to take some pictures and enjoy <laughs> the sun. Yay! Yay, yay, yay! So I came here by myself a few days ago, and it's nice and crowded, but. I don't really know what I should take <laughs> pictures of. Yeah, nothing really it's, interesting. Yeah, nothing happening. really happens here. It's just, just people, like people walking, walking around. some girls coming yeah. <laughs> <laughs> who don't do anything than shopping and smiling <laughs> and under the mask, which I can't see. Yeah. This place here looks really nice, um, like, like it looks beautiful, but do you see everyone is just chilling and sitting? So, yeah. What can you do? What can you do? <laughs> but uh, maybe let's check it out anyways. Oh, reflection. Reflection. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Someone here. I need someone here. Oh. It's better than expected. <laughs> so Seiya here also uh, did skateboarding in the past. Do you think uh, there's um, some parallels or connection between skateboarding and street photography? Uh, yeah, there's yeah. kind of connection. Because yeah. as a skater, when you go outside, you, mm -hmm. I don't know, immediately look for skate spots, right? Mm -hmm. But if also, as a street photographer, you also always like looking for some good lighting, good shadow, interesting subjects. So it's kind of same, I think, right? <laughs> I don't think most people who don't skate, uh, they think of skateboarder as uh, doing it on the street, uh, maybe on a skate park, but no. most uh, skateboarders, they like to be in the city, right? Yeah, and, and then look for some like spots. Yeah. That where nobody had skated before. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you try to not get caught by security yeah, guards. Exactly. And it's similar to like street photography. Sometimes people yeah, don't yeah, want yeah. you to do it. And with skate street skating, you're also not welcome every time. <laughs> nah. Especially in Japan, you yeah, get kicked yeah. out very quick. Yeah. Yeah. But street photography is easier to do it than mm -hmm. skating in Japan because when you're taking photo in the street, nobody really talks to you, like, what are you doing? Like, did you take a picture of me? It happens yeah. in Germany, right? Yeah. Like, people Sometimes. come up to you and then complain, like, if mm -hmm. you take photo of them. Mm -hmm. But in Japan, like, nobody really does that. So... Okay.
but uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. I want a lot of people crossing, and this is okay. and this is a little bit too high, and I don't have a, a live view. I don't have live view, so I will just sit here. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I will put some music here. <laughs> children running I want the dog <laughs> guys want... be patient when you do street photography mm. that's key so yeah this is obviously called the fishing technique waiting for an interesting subject and I don't often do that because you rely so much on an interesting subject mm -hmm. so you can sometimes you spend a lot of time and I think I have enough they're not like the most amazing pictures but still Instagrammable why not Oh, oh, bicycle. Bicycle. Oh. Okay, we just found this corner and it's awesome. There's so many angles you can shoot. You have nice backlight, you have nice direct front light, and then when the car comes here, you can see the driver really clear. So yeah, we are definitely going to camp here, take some pictures. As you can see, a lot of people are finishing, going home from work. So this is quite a nice corner. Corner. It's quite nice. Corner. This looks amazing. Let's go. <laughs> so I also have to say I really enjoy shooting with some, someone else. I'm not really, I don't really go alone to take photographs um, unless I have a project. But just for like random street shots, I actually prefer having someone around to you know catch up and find locations and stuff. Because you become less creepy when you're shooting <laughs> yes. with somebody else. Less creepy. Yep. You share the creepiness. <laughs> <laughs> Looks very beautiful, but I don't know what to do. <laughs> Maybe someone coming towards me here. Someone coming out of that building would be cool. We just got uh, kicked out. <laughs> okay, whoever gets the best shadow. 
おいおいおうんうんあでもいい俺いい乾杯<笑>そうです。The place where you live? Yeah, this is the place where it, I live. What is it called? It's called Tenma. Tenma? Yeah.、Um, where、okay. we have a lot of local shops, local people, you know, big company, you know,、yeah. just people just chilling, fighting, shouting. <laughs> <laughs> There's no this glass.、Mm. I could have shot through this zero. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go to the other side. I'm going to go Um, but I, I've been shooting with my 28 Elmerit and it's only a 2.8 lens.、Mm -hmm. But shooting at the 60th、uh, shutter speed or even hundred,、uh, hundreds of a second, I, I think I actually got some sharp images. So I don't think I need f2 or 1.4.、Mm. Like、if you have a 2.8, you just need to be very still. 2.8.、So、yeah, I'm, I'm happy.、Mm. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> This is all to prevent people to do. Who does that? Did I get it? Did I get it? Oh, oh I like the red part.、Yeah. Uh, If I brighten this、it. up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> All the restaurants are taking their last order before、oh, yeah. they close at, at eight, yeah, eight. eight. PM, yeah?、Mm. And that's it.、Uh, I have to go home. So, I hope you enjoyed this little behind. The, no. So, I hope you enjoyed this little vlog with Seiya. <laughs> Thank、uh, you, guys. Check out Seiya on Instagram. Hi, guys. Here. I'm here. Slide into my DM, please. Yeah. yeah. Any last words?、Uh, yeah, please come to Tenma if you're in Osaka. That's too close. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, this is an interesting area, I guess. Yeah. So, please check it out. Tenma this. All right, so thank you for sticking until the end.、Um, let's look at some prints. So, this is the first photo I took、uh, while waiting for Seiya, and I really like this one. I think this is probably my favorite photo of the day, even though I did this you know, while crossing the street. And here's another photo I took.、Um, I'm, I'm not sure if I took this on the same day, but you can see here is the same monk, this guy here. Um, he's always、um, at this spot. He has the Osaka station. I'm not sure about this one. I kind of like it because it shows you know, Japan in 2021. And yeah, by the way, if you want to win one of these prints,、uh, just let me know in the comment section、uh, which of these photos、uh, you like the best. I'm going to show you the other one as well. And then I will just randomly pick someone, or maybe two or three even. Next, we have this one here from the、uh, building with the glass windows. Uh, normally, I don't do this type of、uh, shot, shooting through glass. It's really difficult. And what I really liked about this one here is、um, how complex it looks. It's almost like a mosaic、uh, pattern here.、Um, really love this whole area here. And I knew this would be a perfect spot to put someone in the frame. And I was waiting for people to pass by. And I could have stayed longer to get. I don't know, a better silhouette, but I think I already like this one enough.、Um, this is a kind of nice bonus. If I would have more time, I would maybe wait for someone to stand here or here and 
and really fill the frame. Maybe have a bird uh, or plane fl flying here. I mean, this is, you know, you can always add to it, but this is a, I guess it's a sh simple shot while at the same time being a little bit complicated and complex. So then we have uh, this spot here with the white wall and the shadows. Um, it was a nice spot and I think we waited for almost an hour. And I wanted to get a very complex frame, you know, Alex Webb style, have someone here lurking into the frame, here someone, maybe here someone lurking into the frame, maybe a dog, <laughs> some animals. And of course, an umbrella is always nice. And you know, this is a very clean <laughs> Instagrammable shot. Um, I still like it. It's just, you know, very clean and um, maybe a little kitsch. I don't know if kitsch is uh, something that you use in English, but in German uh, we use that. Moving on to the sunset uh, pictures. Now, I think this is a picture that we often see online. This is something that works uh, very small as well um, because of the silhouette and um, the bright spots. Uh, very graphical. Um, it's okay, I, I'm happy with this one, but I wanted to originally have someone here and here so that we have this um, you know two parts this uh, division you know of warm and a little bit cold it's not that hard to get someone uh, in this spot but it's very hard to get someone here with the legs spread out and someone here um, with a similar uh, position so yeah and then we were uh, kicked out because we were too loud making uh, childish noises. <laughs> and then we went to Seya's uh, neighborhood and uh, I have no video footage of this shot, but um, I asked this uh, elderly woman here uh, if I can take a photo because I thought it was very cute. Her uh, husband was watching TV and was very small um, and she was very sweet and I like the Hello Kitty uh, skirt here. Um, yeah, I mean, this is typical Japanese. And I think she said something like, um, I'm not pretty enough or something like that. And I just said, no, it's cute. I really like, uh, you know, the store is cute. So quite happy how the focus uh, turned out. This is at f2.8, I think at the 60th of a second. Um, yeah, I love the colors, the very nice colors. Um, this one is another shot that is okay, I guess. I, I, I was drawn to this, you know, this is a nice bonus, catching uh, someone on a bicycle. Uh, oh, by the way, you can see the paper here. This is um, Hahnemühle paper, which uh, reflects very hard right now because I have a window up here. But uh, it's very nice, very deep blacks. Here to show you some close-ups. This is how the paper looks like. Um, yeah. These two photographs are not printed on Hahnemühle paper. I, I didn't like them enough to print them on expensive paper, but this is, I think, Fujifilm paper. It's still very nice, but it, you know, it doesn't have uh, this nice texture. Um, so just so that you know. I think I got some decent shots. I'm very happy. Normally my day isn't that uh, productive, but that shows that I would just work better when I have a friend with me and just, you know, enjoy street photography. So. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed these prints. Let me know in the comment section which one is your favorite, uh, which one you like the best, and I will pick some two or three of you and send you uh, one of these prints. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. <laughs>